We're now at the Prima booth and I'm with Sharon Lockin in and we're going to look at the Prima flowers because yes. that's what you're most known for yes. first. So, yep. We have a wonderful line of flowers and each show we try to come out with a new variety that's a step ahead of anybody else. Definitely, yeah, they are, and they're very original too. So let's go ahead and take a look if you want to point some of them out okay, to us. Sure. This is our gypsy petal. It's part of our floor dancer line. Um, that line has many unique centers, and you'll see that as we go through our flowers. These have a little bit of burning on the edges, which is really unique, really uh, antique looking. We, we have a lot of vintage flowers for this show. I love all the vintage flowers. So. Do you want any other of these? We have painted ladies and... Um, Those are so intricate, the painted ladies. Yeah, they have a, like a frosted effect on them and we give you two different flower shapes. So great variety for those. We come out with really large ensembles and smaller ones. These are mulberry shaped, mulberry flowers shaped as roses. And these ones are, they're like corsages or bouquets or something. They are, they're, they actually have a lapel pin so you can use them for, a lot of our flowers are made to, to be used outside of scrapbooking as well. Okay. Card makers like them, but altered art, they're really popular. You can pull them, I use them on home decorations, you can put them on your purses, your hats. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at some of the ones over here on this wall. Over here we have see some more of our floor dancer line. This one has a really beautiful, almost a brooch center. Yeah, and once again that's very vintagey looking. It reminds me of women's hats. It does, the rolled uh, fabric. Mm -hmm. This is another floor dancer, but this one has our um, a really fancy fabrics, as well as the finished center line. Large Baroque blooms. Uh, this one's a little more homespun. It's Pa de Shaw, and it, it's a fabric, it kind of rough down. I think it fits good for certain kid layouts. <laughs> okay. Our parlor petals, they're really fun, to, and you can alter these. As you can see on this example, um, Julie used stickles. It gives it a really nice sparkly effect. Stickles, that's a great idea. Oh, look, and we've got it on a frame here. Yeah, she used a bunch of different flowers together just to decorate an, an altered item for your home and customize it with some rub-ons. All right. Fun. Very nice. And then we've got more. There's a lot of them we over here. Lot, we have a lot of flowers. Our homespun biddles are made from burlap. Really cool for boy layouts. I have four boys. I'll be pulling those out. Uh, fairy rings come complete with the leaves behind and they're a really thin, almost like a tissue paper. Yeah, I was going to say they look like tissue paper, but it's stronger than tissue paper. It is, it is. But you can do a lot more with that type of paper. You can glimmer mist it, stickles, ink it, paint. We have Medici. Our Medici line has metal centers and we have different, uh, like this is a velvet and this is the canvas burlap. But it will have the jeweled metal center, which is really classy. Okay, so it's got different materials, but it's the metal center that ties that line together. That's correct, yes. And then our Romani rose, which I really like. It's another vintage mm -hmm. with some pearls set in to accent each of the petals or the centers. That's such a romantic looking one. I love that one. It's one of my favorites. Should we go to this one? <laughs> Other side over here, we've got plenty more. <laughs> Oh, we've got leaves and, and little flowers here. Well, if you're going to have flowers, you got to have leaves, and our customers keep asking us for more and more leaves. So we actually have two. We have velvet roses, velvet rose leaves, and then we have the actual mulberry paper. And the purpose of that is these are very alterable. Paint them, spritz them, whatever you want to do to the paper. Um, the velvet is a little more, the colors on there, they're ready to just put on your page. Oh, okay. So these are the paper ones are the ones you would alter. You can I actually painted some of those last night to shabby them up a bit. Oh. Because the green was a little too dark for my page. Uh-huh. Do that, but the mulberry's made to be altered. That. And here's an example then we've got a flower with some of the leaves underneath. That is a gallery rose tucked in with some of our um, velvet leaves. And then you can see we have different printed flowers down here. These are all mulberry. Yeah. These are all mulberry? These are all mulberry paper. We do a lot. Mulberry is recyclable. Um, it, it breaks down easily. It's also renewable. So we grow okay. them. 
The mulberry in Thailand is where our flowers are made. They get them, it's a natural growing resource and yeah, it's fascinating. I never knew that. Yeah, it's a renewable oh, resource. Geez. So we like to work with mulberry uh -huh. and it's fun on your pages. It accepts art mediums really well. So we use mulberry a lot. These have a printed pattern, the gallery, and the Camelot, which I'm gonna pull this one off. It's my favorite. It has really, really cool detailing. Oh, the no kidding. Tiny little wrinkled edges on the petals. Beautiful, very beautiful. We start with our birds. I love the birds. They're really fun, and there's some sheer ones in there tucked in with the solid that they're really subtle on a page if you don't want an overwhelming look. Gossamer wing, butter, uh, flower and butterflies. So these have, they're like, uh, is that bling? Little jewel Our crystals? crystals, yes. Okay, and then they've got like a glittery edge. And they're sheer. You, when you pick them up, they actually are, they're opaque. Really? They're, they're fun. Our luster leaf sprays, again, made for the holiday. There's some sheer and some solid silver and gold, and as fancier. well as the jewel box. They have a lot of crystals on the <laughs> yeah. edges. The crystals. Oh, and it looks like there's even like flowers also that go along with the, the butterfly. Our holiday lights flowers have some glitter on the edges, as well as a really shiny um, fabric. I'm so in love with these butterflies. Ah. I love them. This is gorgeous. They are very detailed. If you look at them, they... Jeez. Not only is the fabric, there's different fabrics. There's uh, They put glitter and crystals. There's just a lot of detail work on them. And they are very bendable. You can bend the leaves or the wings. Uh-huh. And get form it to give more um, dimension to your projects. So let's take a look at these. What, what are these called? Sprays or vines? We have flutter vines, cherry blossom branches, as well as our holiday light glitter line. And these have clear beads or painted beads as well as glittered leaves. Just a very sparkly different, a lot of 3D on these projects. Here's part of the bead. She just took a couple sprigs and put them in here and they're bendable. So that right there, is that the same thing as that? that? this right here, yes. Oh, I wouldn't have known. Okay. Carrie took just a couple little pieces because it goes a long way and tucked them in and bent them. So can you take these apart and break them into pieces? You can or snip them. I would snip them with the scissors, okay. and then you can curl them to add a little dimension to your projects. All right, this is you... our 95 cent stamp line, which we've done the last two shows. They're smaller stamps, but they're great for kit clubs. They're great for doing small projects. Card makers love these. And for a bonus for this show, to give you a little more bang for your buck, we've included rhinestones. Uh, you know, you can add them to your project or whatever. It's just a freebie for you. Yeah, right into the stamped image. This one I'm getting. I love this. It's a like a butterfly fairy. It is. It is. There, you, there's a huge variety from newsprint to letters to. You, so many stamping companies come in big sets, and you got to buy like a thirty dollars set. Yes. I love that you can get this yes. for what ninety nine. They're ninety five cents each. That's that's really good.